What more should I know if I have kids who love their sports? As a parent, there are many things that you can do to ensure that your child who wants to continue playing a contact sport can do so safely while protecting their brain health. One thing you can do is have all the education possible. Watching these videos can be very helpful so that you know the signs and the symptoms of concussion. It's so important in sports-related concussions that when one occurs, or even if one is suspected to have occurred, that that athlete be immediately removed from play and checked out. Most of us aren't elite athletes, okay? And if you aren't an elite athlete, the odds of you having a medical professional on the sideline for any time you show up for practice or a match or a game is pretty low. This is a disparity in healthcare. So we at Mayo Clinic are trying to alleviate that disparity in healthcare by empowering parents or other lay people with an evidence-based sideline concussion protocol. In that same idea that lay people can be trained almost as first responders in some way. We've developed a training program that actually teaches and empowers parents by providing them some concussion education as well as an evidence-based sideline remove from play protocol that includes the King Devic test as well as some other measures. Over half of the youth athletic sports in the United States do not have trained medical personnel on the sideline. They just don't. So why wouldn't you want a parent or a coach or a safety officer who's trained to pick that up? A lay person or parent is not in a position to make a diagnosis of concussion. But if there's any concern, right, then we can train a parent to do the test. Because if the test is abnormal and the kid has had a baseline test, that kid's coming out. There was one of the mothers that was there on the sideline that had gone through our our training. She saw this kid take a hard hit on the ice and she sort of flagged him down and said, okay, you know, flag the coach down, had him come off. As soon as he came off the ice, then she checked for any red flags. She was able to ask him some orientation questions and then administer a King Devic test. He actually failed the King Devic test. Make sure that the organization that they're playing with has a remove from play protocol. Ask them, what is the remove from play protocol? Ensure that it's somewhere written down. Ensure that it has a step-by-step -step plan of what to do when there is a suspected head injury. I also would recommend yearly baseline testing to make sure that neurologic function continues to improve appropriately per development. And if you really are concerned about protecting your athlete and their team, I really would encourage someone to look into our concussion program. This is something we can do to ensure or at least increase the protection of our youth athletes even when there's not a medical professional there.